Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second season of Chemcon TV's News Bulletin. CCTV is our innovative program where we share news and information from Chemcon Asia 2015 in Hong Kong with you. Similar to our previous editions, we bring you in-depth interviews with authority and industry experts today about food contact. Starting as of tomorrow, we have interesting questions from the panel discussions and of course their answers. Every day, a statement of the day of which also when you're not in Hong Kong you can vote for, a forecast of today, and we have a local reporter who shares with us the charms of this remarkable host city. Our Chicago reporter TJ recommended a British colleague of him who has been here in Hong Kong since 1997. Let's see if we have a connection with him. Hi, I'm B, Mr. B. Welcome to the Pearl of the Orient, Hong Kong. It's an honor, sir, to be your local reporter this week. Good day, Mr. B. Are you in another TV studio? No, I'm at a gondola of the Hong Kong Observation Wheel at Hong Kong Island with stunning views of Victoria Harbour, the Hong Kong skyline, and it's about 60 meters high, so you can observe the city's charms from different angles. Mind-boggling that less than two centuries ago this was merely bare rock, but British rock. And today a Ferris wheel stands on that same rock or actually reclaimed land. Did you know that the Ferris wheel was invented in 1893 in Chicago? Our local reporter in Chicago might have mentioned something about that. But do you know that this spectacular Ferris wheel is actually a Dutch design? It is specially designed to withstand an occasional typhoon here in Hong Kong. It is designed by the company Dutch Wheels from a scenic village in the southern area of the Netherlands, Vlodrop. But enough about the Netherlands for now, let's go to our interview on food contact. So it's time to learn more about how food contact is regulated. Together with Wilfred Van from Keller and Heckman, who has an extensive background in regulatory and government affairs and has worked in several capacities in industry. Wilfred is currently assisting clients on regulatory issues, focusing on food and drug regulation and chemical control laws in Asia. You are absolutely right. The uh, global food contact regulations are far from uh, harmonized. Unlike the direct food additive where there has been an international effort primarily under the United Nations FAO and WHO, but for food contact regulations, the efforts of international harmonization is very limited. The FDA has their own unique system, pre-market approval system, carried by its complication of multiple ways of clearance and also the food contact notification system. Uh, EU has created a, a positive list system for polymers and uh, additives. Japan uh, has their own uh, standard-based uh, system, which has been quite influential in East Asian countries. China is, uh, has experienced a, a great deal of uh, change in the past 10 years, shifting from a, a Japan type of uh, regulation to a EU type of uh, regulation. At least in the foreseeable future, we don't see any uh, possibility or likelihood that uh, the food contact regulations will be uh, globalized, globally harmonized. The complete interview can be watched at our website and YouTube channel and for those in mainland China at Tudo, which appropriate in relation to the topic means potato. Hello again, I'm at a local food market trying to make some contact with the food. They have a lot of fish here but I haven't seen the chips. But they do have turtles. My kids love turtles. We recently saw several of them when we were hiking in Spain. Wait, I show you a picture. Do your kids like turtle soup? Not funny. That's why they sell them here. What are these? Oh, frogs. Great, can you buy a few? Then we can finally falsify the boiling frog theory. No, just kidding. Are you familiar with that theory? Some people believe that if a frog is placed in boiling water, it will jump out. But if it's placed in cold water, that is slowly heated, it will not perceive the danger and will be cooked to death. My personal opinion is that if you put a frog in boiling water, it won't jump out, it will die. And if you put it in cold water, it jumps before it gets hot. Because they are restless and they don't sit still. You see, they even don't sit still now. Or did you eat something weird? I did have some fruit today, it's called a durian. Here they are. This is the infamous durian known as the king of fruit in Southeast Asia. 
They have a very peculiar odor, best described as a mix between dead rats and gym socks. Scientists have discovered that 50 chemicals in this fruit are responsible for this peculiar aroma. Shall I bring one to the studio? No, thank you. It's about time for our statement of the day. Also, this ChemCon, you can share with us your opinion on the statements and trivial questions that we share with you via our ChemConnect app. Like this example, which Chinese character is hidden in our CCTV logo? The correct answer for it is number 9, which is hidden in the letters TV. With us in the CCTV studio for the first statement of the week, Dr. Tsuyuki Nishino from SAP. Tsuyuki, welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me. Tsuyuki, did you recognize the Chinese character in our CCTV logo? Yes, of course. It's uh, also a Japanese character, so therefore I, I could read it, yes. So I didn't know the Chinese and the Japanese had the same characters for nine, but you don't not only recognize the characters, but you're also able to advise people how to put it on the labels and on the SDSs. In the Chinese SDS legislation, are there recent updates? There are several national standards in place for SDS labeling and dangerous goods. Uh, however, I would like to mention uh, uh, the supplemental SDS standard, which is the GB17519, uh, which specifies a uh, new emergency overview display in Chapter 2 and uh, new regulations display in Chapter 15. Um, the National Registration Center for Chemicals does not accept an SDS without those additions and therefore Important. Important. Okay, and your statement of the day is? I'm confident my company understands the additional requirements concerning the supplemental SDS standard GB17519. Okay, and I presume that after your presentation, definitely they will understand, uh, but let's hear their votes. Thank you for being here today and enjoy the conference this week. Thank you. In conclusion, a focus of the day. We start with a complete morning on China its regulations and how to comply with them. In the afternoon, more on food contact and cosmetics and a chemical industry towards a more sustainable future. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our item on food contact and enjoy tonight's welcome session.